Australia has farewelled one of its national treasures, Margaret Whitlam. Hundreds gathered today to celebrate the life of the former First Lady. Through one of the most turbulent eras in Australian politics, she was a calm and dignified presence. The woman Gough Whitlam described as the love of his life. Today she was remembered as someone who was her own person, unaffected by fame, generous to the end. Philippa Macdonald reports. Half a century of Australian Prime Ministers and their wives came to celebrate a national treasure. I remember going to give her a bunch of flowers at the curtain call and a kiss and I thought there are not many Prime Minister's wives you could do that to. She's a loss. She's a big loss. One of the most wonderful people I've ever met in public life. For Gough Whitlam, this was the most difficult journey, to farewell the love of his life. He and Margaret Whitlam would have celebrated 70 years of marriage next month. Gough was in Parliament for over a quarter of a century. Margaret was successively the wife of the local MP, the wife of the deputy leader, the wife of the leader, the wife of the Prime Minister, and then again, the wife of the leader. For all this time, she was the consort. She had no need to adjust her behaviour for anyone. Confident in herself, she was able to take a real interest in everyone she met. A champion swimmer, Margaret Whitlam enjoyed a dip near her beloved Bondi until her 90s. She loved the arts and went to every concert she could. And once frailty separated them, she took pleasure in sharing a sandwich or fish and chips with her husband, Goff. She would focus her mind on something that pleased her and not waste precious time on negative thoughts. It drove us mad. She'd say, look at this beautiful day, just as we were deep in discussion about the latest political outrage. This rare equanimity not only made her a perfect foil for my father, but was, but was one of the many qualities that drew people to her. She was kind and warm, generous and unaffected. She lived her life with dignity and courage. Attributes which made powerful political rivals, past and present, put aside their differences to honour this woman of substance. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News, Sydney.